We just picked a winner for the F-150, the 95 F-150. Um, it's a girl named Alicia. She is from New Bern, Tennessee. So we, everybody who ordered something during our Christmas giveaway got a number assigned to them. And we put them all in a random number generator and we hit go and it picked her, Alicia, from New Bern, Tennessee, which is just north of Memphis. Uh, we just did this and we are going to give her a call this morning. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Boomer. Automated voice messaging system. That's it. She didn't hit the truck. <laughs> We're gonna give it to someone else. <laughs> Text incoming. Hey Alicia, this is Carlos from Bunker Branding. I tried calling in regard to an order you placed on December 19th. Please give me a call at your earliest convenience. Perfect. I'll give her a few minutes to respond in case she was silencing me. It's the later phone calls, it seemed to go straight to voicemail, so her phone may be off or something, but um, if we don't hear from her, we'll send her an email. We have an email as well, and I'll call and leave a message, but hopefully she'll call me back in the next few minutes. We waited about five to ten minutes. No response, so I think her phone is off, so. Hello. So I guess I'm keeping the truck? No. Yeah. No. That's my truck now. That was the rules. That wasn't the rules. We'll uh, send her an email. Um, Alicia from Tennessee, check your email. Check your text. I tried to call you. I pretend my name is Carlos. Um, that was me. Matt Carlos. She probably bought a t-shirt for like her teenage son or something. Maybe. She, she probably has no idea who you are. <laughs> or what bunker branding is. <laughs> probably true. She bought a medium uh, sand colored demolition shirt. She bought one $26 shirt and one an F1. I hope it was for like a son or like her boyfriend or husband or something. She just bought him a t-shirt. And now she'll be able to be like, uh, <laughs> the one even truck. by the way, uh, hey, 16 year old son, uh, here's your first truck. It's pretty sweet. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, or maybe she's just awesome and she bought a medium t-shirt for herself and she's going to be sporting this awesome truck yeah, around Tennessee true. now. Alicia, we love you. Thanks for supporting. Thanks to everybody who entered our Christmas, uh, our Christmas contest. And uh, Alicia, get in touch with us. We will ship you that truck. Congrats. Actually heading out to the river property right now. First I gotta stop by Home Depot, but I'm putting it on the market to sell. Kinda sad. But if we do sell it, there's a pretty good reason, which is kinda happy. We'll see. We're here at the river property. We've got work to do. And I could use your help. Dang it, we have more work than I thought. It hasn't froze hard in like, it's been like six days. Which means this has just been pumping out water for six days. Holy cow. This is bad. I wonder how far this water goes. Oh! I thought that was concrete. Whoa, it's really soft. Dude. All right, let's see if we can turn off this well. Well, the well works. I actually have never used water here, but it seems to be working great. It's really cool when the water is spraying your electric boxes. That's ideal. Okay, it's just at freaking Home Depot. I don't have parts to fix this with me. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, that's not what we came to do. So like I said, we are putting this river property on the market 
for sale, which is sad because, I don't know, we bought it in the summer and it was, I love this place. It's really a cool place. But I've just found something that I want to invest in, um, another property that I like way more than this place. And I can't tell you anything else about the other property because it's not a done deal yet. And so I'm not necessarily selling this place. I'm only gonna sell it if we are indeed doing the other property. I'm working towards the other property. I'm trying to do it. Um, to do the other property, I have to sell this. And I need to sell some other things. I need some money. I do love this place. It'll make someone else a good area to hang out at or to build a house on. We kind of thought it'd be cool to build like a little vacation house, but like, honestly, if I didn't have kids, I'd freaking build my house out here and live on the river. Like it is cool. But the reason I'm here today is because a lot of the ground up here at the top looks like this, uh, because there used to be some animals out here and it's just dirt. So I bought a bunch of grass seed today, bought some rye, which should germinate in like a week and then start growing and it'll make it really pretty. Cause right now it's winter. It's not ideal time to like, sell property because everything's just kind of gray all the leaves fell off the trees and it's just gray and ugly and the grass is all brown so I thought if we get some color in here it'd help for the listing and if we end up keeping it we'll have a lot more grass and less dirt so I brought my <laughs> I brought my little spreader I don't have like one you pull behind a lawnmower or anything that actually does this fast so I'm gonna have to walk across <sighs> this is probably three acres up here at the top and I'm gonna do some down by the river as well and spread my seed all over this land. E. This also was the furthest I've ever driven the Toyota Technical, and it did great. It was, it's like a 45 minute drive in a regular car. This thing, it maxes out at about 70, and it likes to go about 65, so it was a little slower. Probably took me about 55 minutes to get here, but very enjoyable. This truck is, Awesome. A dude at Home Depot stopped me and he's like, you going hunting rabbits? And I was like, yeah, big ones. I'm not a pro on grass, but I was told that ryegrass is good for seeding in the winter. And this actually said winter somewhere on it too. Ideal for winter over seeding. See results in three to seven days. Oh dang, that's even faster. And it's kind of damp out today. You can see it's real cloudy. So I think that'll help too. And we should have some green grass soon. Front pasture, done. <sighs> it is hot, it's not hot. It actually feels amazing. It's like 60 degrees, but I'm sweating so much pushing this freaking bucket, like speed walking, and I'm starting to get blisters on my feet from these cowboy boots, which these are my work cowboy boots. They got like, you know, nice soles on them. They're nice boots, and I work in them all the time, but I don't usually speed walk in them for two hours. So like, starting to wear on my feet a little bit. So anyway, Mayor, I know what I want for Christmas 2023. I would like one of those seed spreaders that hooks to the back of a lawnmower. And I could do this in a quarter of the time with no blisters, just having the best day of my life. Anyway, it, just write that down, Mayor. I need that in my life. Uh, we're actually gonna head down to the river now because the front's done. This is like, you know, the curb appeal. When you pull into the property, I want this whole place to be nice and green, whoever comes to look at it, or just the pictures online. I want them to be pretty up here and not all brown and gray. So hopefully there'll be a little green pop in like three to seven days. And now I'm gonna head down to the riverfront because that's obviously the selling point of this property is it has like the most beautiful riverfront in Texas, plus the most beautiful rope swing, the best swingable rope swing in Texas and the sturdiest rope swing platform that Texas has ever seen all on one property. So it's, 
It should sell pretty quick. Oops. That's better. It is really pretty property. And it will really be pretty another couple months when spring comes around and all these trees will be budding, all the grass will be growing out here, and the river. It's just so pretty. For those who don't remember or didn't watch the first few videos, all this concrete was here. I moved these big rocks here. I moved, I flattened all the dirt out. It was just like, you couldn't pull up here. It was, it was terrible. So I moved all the dirt and rocks in, made a nice little road where you can just drive right up with your ice chest, with your your chairs with your table whatever and hang out out here the river i just kind of wanted a perfect little river spot which we freaking found it had this this little deck is pretty cool it's a little jumping dock so it's like four feet above the water and the water's like four feet deep so little kids jump and they touch the ground a little bit but not bad and actually the water's higher now it was about four feet deep when it was kind of during a drought this summer but it's uh about a foot higher now little platform down there just Pretty interesting. I'm not sure why they kind of stair stepped it like this. Oh, you can see it. So cool. Yeah, we put a little swing on there that we found further up on the property. And then I built the best rope swing platform in Texas, in the world maybe. I don't want to, you know, go too far. It, it might just be Texas, but. And then we got that rope swing going all the way up. So this is where I kind of flattened everything out because I wanted to make a place where we could easily get kayaks in and out because this is just like drop off and was too steep so flattened all this out but that means there's no grass here so i'm just gonna spread some cedar on here this actually shouldn't take too long looks like some grass is already starting to grow in there this grass is all pretty good here but yeah a little bit of work down here and we're freaking done i think i'm done here so if you want to bring your toyota technical with your little Bluetooth speaker, better turn that off before I get copyrighted. Bluetooth speaker out here and party down at the river. This place could be yours. I won't put a link to the listing yet because there isn't a listing yet. Uh, it'll probably go up in a couple weeks. I'm not really sure, but just thought I would kind of let you guys know in case anyone is interested. It's on the Guadalupe River in the Texas Hill Country, and it's on a really pretty, slow-moving, deep part of the river. Look how good that looks down there, and it looks a million times better when the trees are green. Got this sweet platform. This is the only really improvement that I made besides moving some dirt. But yeah, it's got some nice wood that doesn't have splinters. Got some treated wood holding it all up. Structurally, very sound. I built a whole mansion, as you guys know, so this was a piece of cake. Knocked it out, and then, yeah, Mare and Jenna and Clint and I hung that giant rope swing up there, and it's pretty sick. Most likely someone who is not watching this video will end up buying this place. It, it makes more sense, but I did leave my grill out here, which is this old junky grill, but I actually love this grill, but I kind of just wanted to like set the vibe for whoever comes out here like, oh yeah, man, I'd love to barbecue out here with my friends and family. It'd be so cool. And it's right next to this 10 foot wide bald cypress tree. It's freaking giant, and someone apparently climbed it at one point, which is, scary but it's the biggest bald cypress tree i've ever seen it's bigger than any of the other ones along this i mean the second biggest one is probably that one but even when i kayaked like really far that way and i went that way like there are not any other bald cypress trees like this that are this big i have no idea how old that thing is but pretty impressive and whoever buys it i'll throw in this for free lucky them. This place is going up for sale. I can't tell you much more, but it'll make a whole lot more sense in the future, I think. And I, <laughs> maybe. I'm trying to do like the biggest thing I've ever done before, uh, which is why I've been making very many videos lately because I've been working behind the scenes a lot on this. So the Off The Ranch channel has been a little slow and it's gonna continue to be a little slow uh, for the next month, probably. But after that, it's gonna be all hands on deck on the Off The Ranch channel. We are gonna be going full steam. If I can make all these pieces come together and work. This is one of those pieces. Selling this property is one of those pieces. And I have about 20 other pieces that I have to do to make this whole big thing work. The biggest thing I've ever done, the most ambitious thing I've ever done, the riskiest thing I have ever done. If you watch to the very end of the renovating an abandoned mansion recap video that I put up uh, two months ago, it's got like three million, three point something million views already, which is awesome. 
but if you watch the very end of that 45 minute video, I say I have something bigger coming and Mare just chugs a glass of wine. That's all real. Mare is actually very nervous about, I'm, I'm actually very nervous, I don't get nervous. I'm nervous about this one. Mare's very nervous about this one. We are going all in. And it's gonna really stink if I have to come to you guys in a couple weeks and be like, never mind. I couldn't get all the pieces of the puzzle together and it didn't it didn't work out. <sighs> That'll be sad. Anyway, hope for the best. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this place is for sale. And I love this place. It's really awesome. Uh, Clint just called me and he said that Alicia called back and <laughs> she had no idea about this truck giveaway. She bought that shirt for her 17 year old son. He said, mom, I want this shirt for Christmas. And so he told her what shirt. It was one of our daily giveaway shirts. He bought it on the day that we said, this is our shirt of the day. And she had no idea about the truck giveaway. She didn't know about any of that stuff. He just said, I want this shirt for Christmas. So she bought it for him so he could have that shirt for Christmas. And she calls Clint back and he's like, uh, yeah, you won. And she's like, won? And he's like, yeah the truck and she's like what are you talking about she had zero idea and so as he talks to her and tells her that yeah you won this truck she was like I bought that shirt for my 17 year old son and he was like well he won a truck and she said this is perfect because he does not have a vehicle 17 year old kid didn't have a vehicle and now his first freaking vehicle is gonna be that freaking sweet f-150 so I don't think it could have gone to a more perfect person. I'm really pumped that this is going to a young guy who will actually really enjoy that truck. It's going to Tennessee, which is a great place for doing some off-roading, and has brand new tires for this 17-year-old kid. So, congrats, my man. You won an awesome truck, and I'm really pumped that your mom had no idea that you were entering into a truck. <laughs> That's freaking sweet. Goodbye, River Property. I love you. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I've kind of been wondering if I'll get and cops wondering why I have a uh, Madus on the roof and I've been driving around town with it for a month and I was always kind of nervous at first that I get pulled over and no one has cared no one's pulled me over no one's really even looked at it and then yesterday I was driving around in it and there were a bunch of cops out on the road near me and they were all doing something and I was interested as to what they're doing so I pulled up to one guys just walking on the side of the road and I pulled up and was like, hey sir, what's going on? And he told me why all the cop cars were there and it was uh, nothing dangerous or anything. And so he was pretty calm and we sat there and just chit chatted for a couple minutes. And then I was like, all right, take care. And I just drove off and he said nothing about it at all. And as I drove off, I was like, really nothing? Like for real nothing? So I don't know, I guess I just got one of those faces though. You know, like it's a, it's a trustworthy face. They're like he, he does have a Madus on his roof, but I like this guy. I gotta try to do something. So Lincoln got this RC truck for Christmas. Problem is, he wants a fast one. If you get one too slow, he's like, this is for kids and it's boring. But if you get one too fast, he drives it straight into a wall and destroys it. He already broke this one. He actually broke it the day after Christmas. Um, and it's, it's, it's a good in the middle. Like it actually is pretty awesome because it's fast enough to be fun. You can jump it and uh, it's, yeah, it's not too fast where just like, goes 50 but he actually was just carrying it and he dropped it and he broke like yeah that so I need to figure out if I can glue and there's a there's an axle also fell out but little piece of plastic there there broke I looked up part you can't just buy that one part you can buy like a parts kit the parts kit costs like 75% of what the whole truck cost so it's like kind of dumb to buy the parts kit and it only has one part that I would need so I'm gonna try to just glue it and see what we can do so I have some plastic bonder, one of those like two part things where you squeeze the stuff together and then you mix it up and we'll see if that will make uh, make this thing go back together and hold it. I mean it's, it's gonna go back together. I took it apart. I just need to glue this broken part back onto this broken part but uh, yeah I don't know if he'll go out ripping and it'll break instantly so we'll see. If this doesn't work maybe get some JB Weld maybe Put some uh, outside supports on there, some metal or some thicker plastic or something. I don't know, I just don't want to spend all the money to buy the parts kit when it's almost as much as the whole car. Seems dumb. Also don't know how I'm going to hold this on here while it dries. 
Hmm. Tricky, tricky. All right, I'll put a bunch on the outside. Gonna add a little extra strength, a little exoskeleton to this thing, if you will, but not too much where it gets all in here and doesn't allow the, uh, you know, the stuff to move, the joints to move. I put it in between where the two pieces of plastic meet, and then I put it all on the outside, but there's none, ideally, none on the inside. I try to not put it in the inside. I think that'll work temporarily. I don't know that it's gonna be super strong forever, but maybe it'll get some more life than just a whole day out of it. He was pretty bummed on the December 26th when he broke that thing, and I've been just waiting to come fix it. So I finally, I think, got a fix. I'll let that dry, put it back together, we'll give it a rip. All right, thank you guys for watching this episode of Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.